A decorated former Nebraska National Guards member's death is being investigated as a homicide. And those who grew up with her tell us about what kind of person she was. Jenna Lee, Eyewitness News reporter Joe Harris joins us now with more in tonight's Top Story. Joe. Rod and Megan, friends of Heather Wonderlook have nothing but great things to say about her. And you can imagine the shock they felt when they received the news. Authorities in Leavenworth, Kansas say Lincoln High grad Heather Wonderlick was found dead in her home last week, and her death is being investigated as a homicide. We talked to two people who say they've known Heather since middle school. I'm still just kind of like trying to process everything like everybody else is because it just doesn't seem like this is kind of real right now, and it's just kind of a lot to take in. Honestly, I was heartbroken. <laughs> she is just an amazing person and she deserved so much better than that. I was heartbroken that she had to go through that. Both describe Heather as someone who would lift you up even if she was feeling down herself. And they say they have fond memories of going to the movies and playing in the band with her. She always had this bright ball of energy and it was just pleasant to see her. And we always knew that we were going to have a good time when we would see her. Heather was also a former medic in the Nebraska Army National Guard who earned the Bronze Star in 2007 for her service in Iraq. When we interviewed her in 2012, she said she received the honor for rescuing two soldiers under fire and talked about what it was like being in that situation. When you get on the, on the battlefield and you see injured soldiers, you want to help them and that's, that's what we deploy knowing what we're going to do. We're going to go over there and save people's lives. So of course the adrenaline's pumping, but you just know at the end of the day that it's, it's your job to save their lives. Both Wallace and Hempstead say losing a friend like this shows the importance of reaching out to friends and checking up on them because you never know what's going to happen. Now authorities in Kansas say they took Heather's 35 year old boyfriend into custody on suspicion of second degree murder and another person has been taken in, taken in for questioning. We'll keep you updated on the investigation. Yeah, such a tragic story. Joe, mm -hmm. thank you.